Claudia, and welcome to another episode of Life's a Beach. Um, life has been a beach a lot lately. <laughs> and the reason why is because of health. Oh my God, what is up with this whole like Japanese nuclear like power plants and I mean can I go out should I close the window like I you're talking to a person who loves being outdoors you're talking to a person who grew up hiking and climbing and you know like like a, 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 a Mexican Girl Scout and you're telling her, hey, uh, you, uh, you, need to stay inside. you need to stay indoors. Uh, there's acid rain. Uh, the air is contaminated. And the whole time, I'm just like, I'm suffering from claustrophobia here. You know, it's like, ah, I can't breathe. <laughs> and it's like, acid rain. Acid rain. <laughs> <laughs> so, seriously, chupitos. We brought a specialist. We brought a specialist. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. What's her name? Her name is Becky. And <laughs> she's going to give us the lowdown on what's really going on. Thank God. Because I don't even know what to do. Like, should I go out? Should I not go out? Am I washing my hands with the right soap? I, I, you know, like, am I poisoning myself? Am I poisoning my babies? OMG, what's going on? ADM in Spanish, ay Dios mio. ¿Qué está pasando? Everybody's like, oh, it's not as bad. It's they're being they're sensationalizing everything, and it's like, uh, how many nuclear plants are we talking about? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm worried. We should close the door. I'm serious. Like, I don't even want. Like, <laughs> I can't deal. So anyway, the focus of the show today is health. Okay. Um, I did, I've, I've gone out in the past few days since the, uh, J Japanese earthquake and tsunami and disaster, and I've, uh, vented, but I've also taken the time to inform myself, and, and the information is valuable. It's one of the things I'm actually addicted to. I'm addicted, I mean... I'm, addic I'm addicted to attention. Duh. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yeah, I'm addicted to attention. But you know what I am? Addicted to information. And ever since this whole internet thing happened, holy cow, dude, are you kidding me? At this point, we can send an SMS text message to Google. And not that Google knows all the answers. They're at least willing to give you an opinion. And it's like, hey, I really like giving massages. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what the pressure points are in massage? Dude, Google can do that, dude. All you have to do, I wrote down the number. It's, uh, <laughs> I was gonna talk about it later, but it's it's all important right now. <laughs> I was like, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. I, I can't wait. It's, I'm supposed to be teasing, but I can't wait. It's really good information. Four? Okay. Oh, oh my God. My intro is too long. Okay, so, if you want to Google, if you want to text, Google. <laughs> Sorry. <don't. laughs> if you want to text Google, all you have to do 
is right, Google. Duh, stupid. <laughs> it's 466453. And you can say, send them hypo, hypothetical questions. Like, I'll send it right now. Um, and then hopefully, you know, I'll get a response by the end of the show. But before I do that, I have a guest. And, oh, I should acknowledge the fact that there's a painting behind me, right? Okay, so uh, there is an art challenge going on. And uh, the artist is working. That's how badass the artist is. It's like, oh, my God, hey, you're supposed to be doing this right now. And it's like, no, I'm working. That's more important. And it's like, hey, you know what? I have to respect that. I have to respect that as a friend and as a colleague. I have to say, hey, you know what? Where is my compassion? Where is my understanding? I can't be a selfish bitch. Are you kidding me? I hate, I hate insecure, selfish bitches. I look at them, men and women, and I'm just like, oh my God, get over yourself, because this is not your show. <laughs> OMG. Oh, ADM. <laughs> Ay, Dios mio. Este, ya, no. ¿Sabes qué? Cálmate, güey. Cálmate, porque me valen madres. Like, yo? Yo? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you. Ay, me caes gorda. Me caes gorda cuando me ignoras. I know. I'm actually, thanks. Girl Scout cookies, they help. I'm, I'm 33 and I'm peaking, okay? I just got over, it's, it's a big deal. I can't even tell you. I'm like a teenage boy. I'm raging and it's embarrassing. <laughs> I've tried everything. Not even masturbating helps at this point. <laughs> We will manage. I know. I know. ADM. I know. Should I shut up at this point? I'm talking too much. I think I need, I need to let my guests talk. You're not out, dude. You're going to come on the show. I need you to come on the show. <laughs> okay. I have the guru of health. I'm not the guru of health, but I do have some credentials that say I know a little bit of what I'm talking about. I don't know necessarily so much about all of the radiation and all of the craziness that's going on in Japan. You know what? Honestly, she's so modest. She's so modest. I don't even want to talk about that. I feel sorry for the situation and everything that happened over there. But in relation to what we're going to talk about, that really doesn't have a lot to do with. But... Tell me, tell me, what, um, what's happening right now? You're asking the wrong person. I watch the news. But <laughs> we all watch the news, and we're like, you know, okay, this is the information that we are being fed, mm -hmm. so let's make sense out of it. Well, you definitely, we definitely have to think about it and take into consideration that this could affect us and generations to come. Mm -hmm. And, like, people that are trying to have babies, you know, what if there's going to be, me? like... Um, <laughs> mutations in DNA. We're gonna have maybe deformed babies from all of this. Are we gonna imagine those people over there? Are we gonna turn into zombies? Extra. I want to know. Are we gonna turn into? Well, if zombies? we are, I have a nine-year-old that knows how to destruct them, and he will take them out. She's he talking knows about all Noah. About those games. You're talking about Noah. Noah, yeah. it can play video games. And he's an honor roll student. And he's a genius. Yeah. Are you he thinks me? school is boring. He would rather blow up zombies all day long so we bore him like to uh, like i remember talking to him and it's like oh nothing is a big deal yeah unless you're talking about zombies or whatever <clears throat> that game is that he plays nothing is a big deal everything is just like oh i'm sorry hen uh, yeah, everything is just kind of like oh yeah i've seen that or i know about that or i i've done that before and i'm like dude how old are you <laughs> he's nine he's just super intelligent 
Yeah, no, he's God well. Bless him. It's and we're and, and we go back to the information. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. We go back to the information. There's a lot of information out there. And you're a mom. You know, it's like that information, how does that affect you? Um, well, you know, we're constantly learning and we're just getting smarter and smarter. And uh, and it's funny how there's just more information available as That's we, not tea. As we're, <laughs> as we're advancing. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, we're just getting smarter. We're, we're trying to use our tools, right? Mm-hmm. Just like we, we did yeah, in the show. It's not a book anymore. No. It's the internet. It's, you know, technology. And it's, and it's life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Too. You know, we're learning from life. It's evolution. Mm-hmm. You know, at, at, we're in our, th- I'm in my 30s. How old are you? I'm 30. Sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you can relate. You know, we're in our 30s, and it's a different, it's a different, it's a different beat. Yeah. You know, you're not living for the risk as much. You're living for the value. It is a risk living. Yeah. We're trying to make the most out of it. Yeah. And that's the value. <laughs> okay, so we talked about a lot of things. She, she was telling me about three things that I feel are really close to my heart. And it's just because it's something that I can identify with. And I think it's something that everybody can identify with. And that's uh, washing your hands, common sense and health. And natural remedies for stress and anxiety. Yes, hand hygiene is very important. Um, Right now, it seems like everybody's getting sick, and they're wondering, how did I get sick? Well, when was the last time you washed your hands? Do you even have hand soap? I mean, mean regular old-fashioned hand soap at your sink. We can't stress enough how important it is to wash the hands mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. the longer you do it and the more that you are like getting in there and between the fingertips and and your fingers scrub, and the scrub, lines of your I mean, hands that you're just you're removing and the breaking down the numbers of microbials scrub a dub dub scrub yeah. a dub dub like the reason there's a reason yeah. why you say scrub a dub dub it's because you want to get every nook and cranny every nook and cranny exactly okay and why get in the nooks and the crannies and and do you, you want to know why when was the last time Ray washed his hand. Do you know? Days ago. See, and he's probably in, just infested with microbes. They're crawling all over he him. He said days You're ago, by the way. You're with microbes. God's water. I'm sorry, you've got bugs we don't all want to over shake you. His hand. We don't want to shake his hand. No. No. You have bugs all over you, What Ray? if we forget and we touch our mouth and then um, infected? I'm sorry, but I'm going to take this back to, ni- to 1492. Mm. Where it's just like, you know, the the native people of the Americas were very clean and very hygienic. And Naturally. Yes. But they didn't have the crap that we have today. They, they didn't, didn't have, have the bugs. It. Yeah. They didn't have the... Tell me about the bugs, Becky. Bacteria, viruses... They're, they're getting more virulent. They are stronger now than ever before, and... They're learning. Yeah, they're, they're hooking up with... It's like they're having orgies with other bugs, and they're getting together. That's disgusting. And they're, they're, they're swapping DNA to become more virulent because we're, we're taking antibiotics, we're using um, drugs such as triclosan in our hand soap, which this is a big no-no. You don't want to use this on your hands. You want to use regular old-fashioned soap to wash your okay. hands. And you want to thoroughly wash your hands with as hot as you can get the water. As hot as you can stand it. Just wash your hands like that. It's a test for tolerance. Yeah. You know? Test your tolerance. Go in and put on the hot water and say, hey, how far can you go? And know that it's a chemical reaction. Reduce heat, the risk. Heat is a chemical react creates a, a chemical reaction, and we see this with the sun. Right, along with the soap, you're creating a slick surface to release the bacteria and reduce the numbers, so that you're less likely to become sick. Mm-hmm. Which is very important. We talked about something earlier today, and it's the fact that during this whole winter season, I didn't have a cold. That is so cool. You did a really good job taking and, care of yourself. And the reason why 
is because I, I, I practice the things that you told yeah, me. Yeah, common sense and health. Common sense and, and health. And hygiene. Yeah, it was, I it's wash my hands your diet. a lot. I do, like, check my diet. I mean, I know I'm kind of, like, thick and, like, in, you know, everything. And You're it's just like, a hey, you know what? Woman. It's because, yeah. I have a really good palate. I'm fucking Latin, dude. You but you're eating I mean? your fruits and vegetables. I'm you're eating green. You're getting your vitamins. I'm not having a meat diet. I'm having a... I'm, I'm, I'm eating for nutrition. I'm eating for nutrition. Yeah. Food. For your health. You're I eating mean, for your yeah. health. Yeah. I'm, I'm tapping back into the fact that, oh, the reason why we're supposed to be eating is nutrition. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you want to bring in nutrients into your body to supply your body with the essential nutrients that your body needs to work at its optimum state. Energy. And if you're eating fast food and you're eating all these processed foods, you're not giving your body nutrients. You, right. Yeah, you're feeling full. You may have a little bit of energy. You can do this or whatever. You mm. feel normal, but you're not actually giving your body anything essential. So I suggest to people that must indulge in all of those processed foods and all of that bad stuff, they should supplement with vitamins, in particular vitamin C. Take a healthy multivitamin. Take two of them a day. You can't take too many. So, I mean, with, with vitamins, like, is there an excess? No. The, the government wants us to believe that there is. And there's some skill on how many we're supposed to have. When really, we never meet that. Our foods don't supply us with enough nutrients. People don't know that. You can go on to Netflix if you have Netflix. Not and enough? watch the documentaries about food. Yeah, really? they'll break it down for you. There, there's so much science behind it and what we actually need in our diets. And people have no idea. I saw the... Um, um... If you don't believe me, you can... I Use saw the Morgan whips. Spurlock. What's that? I uh, seen that. Morgan documentary. Spurlock? The guy that did um, the, um, the the fast food diet on uh, McDonald's. Oh, supersize me. Supersize me. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Holy cow, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? Eddie's here! Yeah! She was really shy oh, earlier, yeah, but you know what? <laughs> hey, give some tea. Oh, yeah? Dude, yeah, hey, you want to give him some tea? We need to all cheers. Yeah, we toast. Because we, you know what? Hey, salute these putties. We only get one. Live it well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's a good tea. Yeah, you can have some more if you want. Yeah, we've got plenty. Mm. Plenty of tea. So. And he's got to get to painting. We were talking about health. I asked her to come on the show to be my health guru. Yeah, she's a health expert, man. She, like, every time I'm sick or whatever, it's like, bam, like the next day, everybody else sick for two weeks, dying, <laughs> taking penicillin. I'm like, what's this I'm drinking, baby? I don't worry about it. It's like duck liver that's been watered down like 200 times. I'll take care of you. I'm like, whoa, no. He's man. talking about homeopathy. If you don't know, go on to this website. It's called 1-800-homeopathy.com and you can find a cure I'm going to try to like put it on the website just so you guys can look it up. 1-800-homeopathy.com. I love those That's easy. It's natural that alternatives. If you have chronic pain, if you have allergies like a lot of us do. I know that I suffer from allergies. Um, what, whatever your problem we're, is, depression, anxiety, there's we're gonna something get for congested, everyone. right? We're going to get congested. Yeah. That doesn't mean that you can't fight it. No, no. When you get congested, <clears throat> that's actually like, you know, when you're supposed to be boosting your immune system. Yeah. That's what I do. Yes. I vitamin like, C is like the... <laughs> The like moment, enough, take the moment that I start feeling right, shitty. Eddie? Right. I take uh, 2,000 milligrams in the morning and 2,000 milligrams at night. He's really he healthy. Helps out with all <laughs> kinds of stuff, man. <laughs> and he's very happy. If you're not happy enough and you want to seek more happiness, take vitamin C and watch. You'll be more happy. 
It's just, it's that, e- <laughs> it's just <laughs> that easy. I don't know how many of me there are around, but <laughs> I hear you can it. take vitamin C. I, I, um, I've, I've, I've heard the benefits tea. at night. They're really good. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassing her. I feel bad. Okay, so because I sleep well, I sleep really well. Because I take and my because, supplements, and she uh-huh. hears me in there sawing logs. Not only that, sleeping. I hear her laughing. <laughs> oh, because I'm so happy. I take my vitamins. She's I'm bursting. Happy. She's bursting with fruit oh, flavor, dude. It's this raining girl is right bursting now. With fruit. <laughs> Fucking Eddie, dude. Really. Fuck you, fucking Eddie. <laughs> you make that so, like, negative when really it's a positive. No, everything about it is a positive. Yeah. Are you kidding me? It's a celebration. Fucking Eddie. Fucking Fuck Eddie. Eddie. Fuck you, fucking I Eddie. freaking Eddie. Thank goodness he's here to paint this thing. Can I just tell yeah. you? Yeah. He's got his tight jeans on today, too. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell where those pants are from? Because no. you knew where his pants were from. Hey, and I was you know, like, Ray, shit. Where Eddie's pants from? Can I check? Mm, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, um, Eddie, I'm going to check. He's your brother. You, where, 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 what, what kind of jeans are you wearing? These are cool jeans. He's your brother from another mother. Like uh, that's, jeans? No, they're not Costco. <laughs> uh, DKNY. Oh, fancy Eddie. <laughs> oh, up. Oh. Uh, she touched his butt crack. Give she me the antibacterial. Tell me about the also, antibacterial. Okay, I want people to understand something about um, hand sanitizer. Okay, here. Please, because I just now the proper oh the proper way to use hand sanitizer. <laughs> get get enough of it. <laughs> you want to lather your hands really? up good and friction. Oh, I need more. Friction then. is I need important. More. I need more. Because I was that was a light one. And Eddie's butt's not dirty, by the way. Just so you guys know, he's got a clean butt. He's, He's very cool. I'm so, okay, silly. we're going to create some friction, and we're going to do this until it dries. Okay. If you want to really kill the bacteria, there's no, like, uh-uh. Let's kill it good. No, you have to really get in there. See, it's drying? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, keep, we're keep killing stuff. It. We're We're killing it. Mm-hmm. It's dying. Die! Die! It die, scum, die! Now, understand, <laughs> it does not die with soap. But you create an environment for it to be washed down the sink it or to difficult. reduce it makes it difficult numbers. For them. You're reducing numbers whenever okay. you're properly washing your hands. And also your hand sanitizer. You want to make sure that it's it's alcohol is the antiseptic. And it says on the back, this says ethyl alcohol 62%. You don't want to use anything that has these chemicals, such as triclosan, because what you're doing is whenever you use these chemicals, you're basically causing the bacterium that you're trying to prevent to become stronger and resistant and it comes back and it's bigger and stronger it makes me want to and puke it, it's, it that's makes called me want the super bug. and then you're not before too long there's not going to be anything to eradicate this these germs you're going to make it so that nothing works on them they're just going to be here and they're going to take over <laughs> you know, I don't want germs to be And then me. we need nine-year-olds like my I son I do not kill want. Kill the zombies. I'm sorry. I do not want my... No I, I do... That, that immunity... We don't want to turn into zombies. I, you know what? I understand. Like borders running down our face. We're all... Okay. Uh, I, was, I was just at a powwow. <laughs> and I understand that organisms need to live. I understand yeah. that, but like seriously, bugs have to be contained because I don't want to go back into what was that name? The Battleship Troopers? <laughs> ba- what what is that that movie? Starship Troopers. Starship Troopers. I don't want I don't want to subdue to the brain. I don't. The brain bug. The brain bug. Those, you know what? That, there's so much crazy shit about that movie because I mean, there's like these bugs. It's a planet, and they shoot like, like crap out their butt, and it hits asteroids and launches <laughs> at asteroids, and, and they attack it's really our planet silly. through that, right? But like, how the hell do they do this? Do they create quantum black holes out of their butt or something? You know, because like that's like a hundred thousand light years away, right? Mm-hmm. Where these like, you know, they show the little map. It's like they sent it from the other end of the galaxy. Would it help if I? I don't want. I don't want. 
Okay, so can we get, can we get back to the painting? Um, oh, the painting is so beautiful. Just for a second, we'll go back to health. No. But right now, I, I kind of want to talk about the painting because let's talk about the painting. There's a reason why I closed the door. You want to know why I closed the door? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I closed the door because acrylic, which is the medium that Eddie is using right now, uh, it dries. Oh, thank you, babe. It dries. She's helping me out. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> um, you want some more? Uh, Ray wants some more. I, I mean, that you're you gonna, can you're you gonna can gonna have, have some more. And the next time it goes off. Look, Ray. If you want, if you want some more, you have to come on the show. Yeah, you have to come on the show, That's man. That's the bottom Bring line. The come on the show. Ray has a Ray. Ray has a pump. Ray has been Ray has been teasing us since episode one. Jeez. Since episode one, and so has been Justin. And you know what, Justin and freaking Julie, Julie, you know, stop teasing me. You have a lot of information. You don't have to say it. Just give it to me. Oh yeah, give it to me. Share she wants the she information. Wants it, Julie. She wants the I will. Information. I will give you a massage in exchange. Oh. Oh come on. How could anybody turn that down? Massage. By the way, look. You don't even some, know, dude. Let me let me give you a massage, massage just so oils. you know. Yeah. No, you don't even know. I'm I'm good. You know, I've been thinking about like studying this, and it's really it's really silly because people have been calling me Phoebe for a long time, and, I, and <laughs> a long time, <laughs> and uh, so I'm just kind of like. No, I don't, I don't, like that, to me, that would be the complete exaggeration. I was like, no, 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 I enjoy giving a massage. I'm not, I don't want to give a massage professionally. I want to give a massage only to the people that I love. Oh, that's very, that's very sweet of you. And what's the best part about getting a massage? Why do you like to receive massages? Why do I like getting massages? Oh. What is the the most like because I want to learn how to make it better. But how does it benefit you? Because I am addicted to information. That makes no sense. What about what is what are the effects that it <laughs> that has? It doesn't on, make sense, Eddie. What are the effects that it <laughs> has on your on God. your body and your well being and just like you feeling as a whole person? It relieves stress and anxiety. So whenever you get a massage and you leave the mm -hmm. the business, you feel just stress free. I like feel like Jello. Brand new. I feel like Jello. Yeah. I feel like I just like I, I feel I feel like I'm in my zone. I feel like I'm in my world. I feel like I I'm in a fantasy. Sure. Stress sure. is um, an issue with a lot of people. A lot of people Today. complain of stress. I've had stress so many times. Anxiety. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I right now I just tried the whole... Um, I'm, we're trying two different products right now. And this is the uh, edible massage oil that I'm using on her left hand. It's just natural oils, basically. They blend some fragrance and maybe some flavor. But, um, okay, tell me more. You just want to get massaged with it either way. <laughs> I think you just like it's getting vanilla. touched. Yeah, the best part is just getting the massage. You like the contact? And even if, even if yeah. you don't taste the, the oh, vanilla, yeah. massage, it smells really nice whenever <clears throat> you're like, like a cookie. So, yeah. Yeah. I, massage is, like a massage is, a, is different. <laughs> Experiencing a massage, I think, is different for everybody. Okay, and um, something that I'm I'm switching to um, a Thai balm now, which is kind of like you know the tiger eye. It's like a mentholatum rub, mm -hmm. and and, it, and it's aromatic. So I'm smelling it, mm -hmm. I'm feeling it, and yeah. it's um, it's creating a, a soothing environment for me. Okay, and so um, the whole thing about massage for me honestly i like the pressure 
I like dealing with pressure and I like seeing people react to pressure, you know? And I would actually, <laughs> there's one time, girl, I walked into Fosiam and Echo Park and I kid you not, dude, I walked in, I looked like Quasimodo. I walked in and I was in pain because I had a neck spasm. Oh no. Yeah. I, I get the neck spasms on my left shoulder. Do you ever shoulder. go to the chiropractor? Yeah. Chiropractic care is very important. Yeah? yeah? What do you think about chiropractic? I think it has a stigma attached to it, like a lot of things, when really it's it's more healthy for you than anything. It dates back like a long time ago. Let me know if my nails are hurting you. No. My chiropractor told me a story about, it's an old, old story. Um, any other chiropractor would recognize this story. You're mm -hmm. probably taught this in, in school. But there was a man that couldn't hear, and he, he was deaf. He went to a chiropractor and got his neck adjusted, mm -hmm. and he could hear. Shut up. That's how beneficial chiropractic therapy is for people. Tell me about the healing arts. Because that is that 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 is a miracle. What a what like, part of healing arts? Like the fact that like you know something stimulated that. What stimulated that? It was a release. Something in his nervous system, his spine, it's usually spinal, mm -hmm. and then your nervous system runs through your spine. Something was being blocked. Basically, it's like you have these freeways Mm -hmm. Running through your spine. Your spine is the, you the know. The 405. Yeah, it's going down the or center the of your spine. And it's going everywhere. Or the 101. And if one thing is messed up, if your spine is, is unaligned, if it's, mm -hmm. it's out of alignment, mm -hmm. then you're creating problems not only up here mm -hmm. or wherever it starts, but down there also. What do you think about that yoga movie that we saw earlier? I really dug it. It's called Enlighten Me. Or lighten up, enlighten oh, up. Oh yeah. And it was, you know, pretty Yoda much. Yoga is beautiful. We're halfway through the show. Thank goodness. How, wait, should we check in on Eddie before we talk about the movie? Yeah. Uh, how how do you like your massage? Oh, it's fantastic. This is this is the 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 Thai. I'm giving you the Thai specialty. I was a little nervous before I came on I the didn't... show. And I feel so good now. <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs> I'm not letting you go, girl. I'm not done. I okay. wonder how many of my Illinois friends are watching because I posted it on my Facebook. And Aww. I hope they are because they haven't seen Let's me in a shout here. out. Hi. Hey, what's up, Illinois? I love my Illinois friends. I miss you guys. Mwah. What's up, y'all? I haven't met you all yet, but hopefully I do. <laughs> That's Eddie. <laughs> about him later <laughs> okay <laughs> so um <laughs> shit <laughs> i wonder how much of my family's watching this and they're like oh becky you are a bad girl we're like, not doing oh anything bad God. no no you shouldn't becky. touch him because i can <laughs> your I butt can... is so <laughs> big <laughs> even on the so show <laughs> Oh my God, Becky! Right. Becky, this one—that <laughs> one is edible. I no, don't touch your hand. It doesn't taste good though. I want to try it. Go ahead. It, it doesn't really taste like anything. I think that's a gimmick. It says edible massage oil, it's French milk. vanilla. But no, 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 don't touch. We're we're talking about cleanliness. Don't touch it. Can I? T can I try it? It doesn't. It's mixed. No. If I were you, one? I would just like try that by itself. I washed my hands really good, be like just a little bit ago. I trust you. Go ahead. I just wanna... Go ahead. Try it. I don't have microbes crawling on my skin. I take a shower. <laughs> I took a shower Put too. Put on Ray's hand. You just took a shower. <laughs> I know. I just took a shower. <laughs> hey, do take a shower. Do clean yourself. Do wash. Don't be one of those girls that don't wash. What's that, um, <laughs> Caroline? <laughs> hmm. Oh shit! There's she likes it. Lipstick all over her. <laughs> and glitter. I'm sorry. It looks pretty. It's like a heart. You were right though. <laughs> it 
It's not really that tasty. They shouldn't call it edible. Oh, I know. It's edible. <laughs> they should not call it edible. <laughs> Eddie says it's edible. Oh, and eh. To each his own. You know what? It, it supposedly has almond oil, <laughs> apricot How many oil, are laughing right now? grape seed oil, you guys have to... seed oil, <laughs> hemp seed oil. I might get high. <laughs> I want to um, know who's laughing. Vitamin you guys E, decide. rosemary, and flavor. What the fuck is and flavor? And let us know you're laughing. <laughs> like, what? flavor. Yeah, that's the mystery. Flavor. <laughs> We're just, they're like... We don't really know what this stuff is either. <laughs> so we're going to put flavor. Any of your girlfriend's got flavor. <laughs> I'm sorry. Flavor. I didn't mean to submit you to this. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not upset. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. It's like who could be upset Eddie, they're getting a free massage? I oh, cannot, this sucks. I cannot admit. <laughs> To not saying I really enjoyed doing this. <laughs> He's like, go ahead. You're the one with the twisted, kinky issues. He's like, do her feet. Do Look at her, her feet. Do her fingers do on her feet. I know. <laughs> Can I massage your feet? Oh, I would love it. I would love it. Later. Um, That's my job. <laughs> off the record. Can I massage your feet off, off the, the record? record. <laughs> Please. I think I've got 10 bucks in my wallet. Okay. So can I, <laughs> from the two, I gave you a massage with both oils. And we're running out of tea. Oh, dude. man. Why? Are you uh, like completely hammered? No. We're working, Eddie, can you refill We're the working on getting hammered. Do you want to refill the tea? Please. I will. Claudia, keep going. No, no, he's got it right there. Well, we gotta get the other stuff. You gotta paint. You're on a you're on a deadline. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. I am a rock star. Get back to technicalities. Hello. Snap out of it. Okay. So. I haven't eaten yet. Um. While we're on commercials, I wanted to tell you that uh, I was at uh, Cal State Long Beach this past weekend. And I was part of, I was so happy to, I wasn't even part of it. I, I, I was a spectator for the Panza monologues. And it's like the uh, Long Beach Chicana approach to the vagina monologues. Awesome. Yeah. And so what it was, it was like, um, oh my God, it had to have been like 15 girls that were all in their 20s and they all took the stage and they all did monolo monologues and it was all about um, their experience. And they talked about politics, they talked about immigration, they talked about love, they talked about lust, they talked about everything. And I mean, I really think, the essentials, honestly, you know? I think they were brave. They're brave girls talking about, you know, the things that I think affected them. One of my favorite ones was um, one that was called Pray. Uh, I don't want to mess it up. Come on. Go. Winning. <laughs> Gotta go. Winning, winning. I know, Ray. I, winning. I know. Fight the good fight, Claudia. I'm trying to fight the good I learned, fight. I learned that from Claudia, by the way. Fight the good fight. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. You've had a rough week. You need to maybe detox. Your brain cells are just in a clump. Thank you for making my tea, by the You're way. You're welcome. Jeez. Oh I don't my know God. if that really happens. Your brain cells get in a clump. Mm. Okay, so then we can go back to talking about stress and anxiety. Actually, yes, I have a lot of things that I want to I want to talk about. Um, feeling good about your mental health—it's very important. There is like this epidemic about people with anxiety, generalized anxiety disorder. I don't know if you have it. I know that I've had it a time or two. 
I know that almost everyone that I know has some form of anxiety. I pulled over. And yeah. I pulled over. Yeah. I'm driving the and freeway. I pulled over oh. from the street just because I couldn't deal. Yeah. And you know what? I was so hard on myself. I was so hard on myself because I thought. Not just you. It's everyone. I'm, I'm such a pussy. Like, what the And that's the not fuck? true. That's like, not true. Why can't I take this on? Like, yeah, I know I know the feeling. You're on the freeway, you're in traffic, you're driving 50, 60, 70 miles per hour, and you've got people surrounding you. Los, An Los Angeles big rigs, traffic And then all of a other. sudden you find yourself feeling like you're being closed in, and all you can think about is, oh my God, please get me out of here. Like, this is just so crazy. Okay. This is a common issue. A lot of people have this from people from all walks of life, even us. Tell me. And tell um, me. how do you know if you have, you know, generalized anxiety disorder? These are the signs and symptoms. Worries are accompanied by physical symptoms, for instance. I'm going to be sensational about it, okay? Because I'm a yeah, dramatic person. You should. <laughs> you should. I got this off the internet because I, I did some research on myself. And this, these are some of the... Um, I have... Yes, I do have Google as she a search Googled engine. It. It's fatigue, headaches, muscle tension, oh. muscle aches, difficulty swallowing, trembling, which is like shaky hands or maybe your whole body shaking, twitching, irritability, sweating, and hot flashes, especially in women. So you just feel like this reaction. rush of heat. A physical yeah, reaction. That's for your me, body dealing with it. For me, it starts from my pelvis. <clears throat> what? You want me to talk into this? Okay. I feel like this, a heater. Like, I feel like mm -hmm. my pelvis is a microwave. I, yeah. It, it, it's intense. I'm 33 years old. I'm single. I've never had children. And it's just like, uh, it's a monster. I call it a monster. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's your body reacting to the the stress that you're dealing with, it's the things that you have in your mind. Okay, how do I deal with it? Because I'm I'm trying to be well, good. I'm trying to be good. And you know what? I'm trying to abstain. And I mean, even, like, I've even cut down with masturbating. I used to masturbate, right. like, three times That's a day. That's not the key, though, man. Well, I, no. It's more. You're supposed to love yourself, right? Masturbating is healthy. I think that you can do it as many times as you want, but if it starts to affect your sexual health, like where, you know, you're involved with another person and you want to be able to share some, you know, the forms of intimacy and um, yeah, maybe you, if you, you want have, a bond. Yeah, and if you're getting too comfortable with yourself and you can't be comfortable with another person helping you, you know, mm -hmm. enjoy that, then you're masturbating too much. So but you, you have to be conscious. Guys do that. You have guys to be a that. team player. You guys can masturbate too much to where whenever you're in a relationship and you're trying to um, feel... Uh, you have to be a team player. Yeah, the the sensualness or, you know, the... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Visual. Yeah, it's mostly mental. The vigor. You, you will reduce that by only doing it for yourself and not letting your the satisfaction. mate do it with you. Yeah. Which, by the way, practice safe sex, people. Practice safe sex. Tell, tell us about clean safe sex. sex. Uh, you know, clean condoms. sex. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, be clean. Wash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because before and after. You're dealing with fluids. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. You want fresh breath. Bacteria in your teeth. Oh. Can cause infections down there. That's nasty. It does. Yeah. Will eventually like potentially cause cancer for the women. Yeah. You know, and you don't want that to happen. <laughs> yeah, there's Brush stuff your that you teeth before you go about. down there. Don't give us cancer. <laughs> That's true. That's no, true. No, no, there are zero. microbes no, hiding in your mouth. And their their whole mission no, is to invade and it. infect and destroy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fucking microbes. Mm. Can I just tell you? Fuck you, fucking microbes. They're everywhere. And they're they're here. They're here. They're here. They're on your glasses. They're they're floating through the air right now. Can we, you want to talk about Japan? Because honestly, first like two weeks ago, it was like, you know, we found out about Libya. 
and everything that's been happening happening over there uh, with with Justin. Justin was on the show and he gave us the whole world news breakdown about the things that are happening in Libya and the things that are still happening in Libya. But now the focus has changed, has switched. It's switched to Japan because there are a lot of nuclear plants there. There are a lot of factories there. There's a lot of decisions that are made in Japan from our electronics to our cars. So how does that affect us? I was talking about it in the show last week and I actually wrote a poem about it. Can I can I share it with you? Yes, I, I would love that. I know it's in Spanish, but I'll I'll be happy to translate I can it. I understand like a lot of words in Spanish, but go ahead. Doesn't matter. Becky is a transplant <laughs> from Illinois. And you know what? Thank you. I've I've lived here before. I've lived here several several years. I moved back and forth, but I think I'll just stay for now. Thank you for making the I move. I moved back and Thank you for making the I'm just move. gonna stay here now. Like why wouldn't you wanna be here? Other than any why wouldn't you wanna be here? Yeah, it's it's definitely it's my it's my second home. So you're in. I'm in. <laughs> All right. I don't sin, but I'm in. Okay, and <laughs> that I'll share the poem, and then we can keep talking about Japan. Being okay. in like original. Come on, after your poem. Right, <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Ray Ray called it. He said he's gonna come on. Do you believe him? Uh, whatever. <laughs> I'll see you when it happens. <laughs> he's coming. Um, oh, yeah, he's coming. If he's not coming here, he's coming there. He's coming and somewhere. And we don't need to know about it. <laughs> he's going somewhere, definitely. <laughs> um, okay, so. <laughs> I, I, I have a connection to Japan. I have a connection to Japan because... I've been there, and I climbed Mount Fuji. Like, it was, for me, it was just like, it was, it was a uh, very, very motivating and inspiring. Just because of the beauty. I mean, it was majestic. Japan is majestic. Like, if anything, I donated money to help their cause because I want them to come out of this. I want That's all awesome. of us. That's You donated money? Yeah. High five. I, I donated. Gosh. I didn't donate that much, but. It doesn't matter if it's a penny or like 50 cents. You. And, and I donated, and I donated a poem. Does that count? Yeah. Okay, can I share that? Yeah, yeah. It's in it. Spanish. It's, it's okay. Do it. It's okay. your show, woman. Do it. Hurry up. Okay, so I know I've been teasing it for way. a while. Sorry, sorry. It's a, it's it's heavy. It's Keep heavy. <laughs> I hope my Illinois I put the lid. are watching. Dude, I put the lid on if the If they're cup. watching, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> if you guys are watching in Illinois, I'm going to oh, be so happy. Oh, my God. Oh, Eddie. Smurf butt. Look at that. Okay. That is definitely a Smurf butt. But that would be like the hottest Smurf that we never saw. Work, watching Smurfs the growing crack. up. He's working on the crack right now. He's got a crack obsession. Eddie, yeah. tell us about the crack. It's a healthy one, though. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. I, get, I keep, I keep, I keep getting part. sidetracked. I'm sorry. Okay. Avatar, yeah. I have to do the no. There's no way. That's totally Avatar. Yeah, there better be some jungle in the background, you know. It's gonna be fire. What what what's the what's gonna be the color of the fire? Do you know? Orange and red. You just stuck that in your ear. Ouch. 
I'm sorry about it, Hitch. Wash it. So does it do it for you? Sanitize it. He does it for me. She, it totally does it for her. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, it just really does. Oh my God. Um, can, so, can you um take over the show? Yeah. Because I have to go. Okay. Ten yeah. minutes. Go yeah, work. Ten minutes. It Ten minutes? Yeah. I have to go pee, Woman dude. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, Claudia, look, Claudia, <laughs> Claudia, we need to change your um, your focus. Okay, you need okay. to read this. We need to hear this. Everyone, do you? you? You people that are watching, you speak Spanish, so you need to read this to them because it's very inspiring, and it's from your heart, and this is your show. So read it. I'm kind of chicken about it. No. I'll, I'll read it in Spanish. Eddie will. Cuando me llegó la noticia de tu, trate negar tu. See, you gotta read it. Otherwise, I'm gonna butcher it. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed. Okay, so. Nice try, Eddie. I tried. Thank okay. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, uh, last week we talked about the toxicity. And we talked about the earthquake, and we talked about the tsunami. We even talked about the effects that it had on the West Coast. And even though it was 11,000 miles, like, they're family. The Japanese, to me, are family. I have a Japanese mom there. And as soon as I found out about what happened, I, I asked, if my Japanese mom was okay. And this is, I mean, going back to the whole panza thing, where it was like, where, what's, what is the Latina core? And it was, for us, it was definitely the panza. And that's because it's your source of nutrition, but it's also a source of inspiration. We gotta love our Japanese people. And I want I want them to be good. I want I, I want to I want to send good vibes to them. So I wrote a poem and I had been reading a lot of. Um, Read it. I know I know. Read shut it. up. I had been reading a lot of Pablo Neruda. Um, my friend is going to Chile soon, and so. I I mean this is not in any way to honor him. This is just. Me venting, okay? Uh, Japón. Cuando me llegó la noticia de tu caída, traté de negar tu perdida. Al pensar que sufrías en manos de la naturaleza. Mandé mis remedios, mandé mis palabras y mandé mis esperanzas. Mandé mis esperanzas. Porque me duele, me duele. Me duele, me duele que sufras. Pero el daño es profundo. Y las almas ahora son estrellas. Mis, mis antepasados viven conmigo y mis antepasados viven conmigo porque los veo en el cielo. Entre más sufres tú, más sufro yo. Perdóname por no estar a tu lado, porque si fuera por mí, yo, yo, yo haría mi propio velero. Yo encontraría una manera de ir. Pero en este instante, en este, en este instante, me siento vulnerable y no lo no puedo hacer. Aunque estés en la distancia, quiero que sepas que no dejo de pensar en lo que está pasando y voy a seguir rezando por ustedes. So, Good job. 
What I pretty much said was that um, when I heard about what happened, it was like a drop. It was a major drop for me because it was because I knew it was going to be a loss. I knew there was going to be a loss. I knew that it wasn't going to just be electronics and cars. I knew that it was going to be creative. I knew that it was going to be emotional and you know, I'm glad that you're on the show today because now I know that the health factor is very, very, very present. I know that the health factor is 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 going to be a deal breaker. You know, it's it's going to be one of those things where it's like, okay, everybody has to learn from this. The U.S. Europe, Asia. Eddie, what do you think about the radiation and how it would affect you? I mean, I don't know. I mean, we have tons of radiation coming from the sun anyways. Mm-hmm. But um, our phones cause a lot of radiation. Our microwaves. I, I think, yeah, I mean, I don't have a microwave here in my if house. If you go you get know? A, an, you know, an x-ray. <clears throat> yeah. But, you know... There is a, a, a different type of toxicity to, to different types of radiations. Yeah. And anytime there's a toxicity present where there's something to do about it, you should do something about it. And I think people should be eating kale. They should definitely be, you know, kale's a natural thing to help us flush a lot of the, the, the radiation. It has iodine in it and all that sort of stuff. Oh, it has iodine naturally. Naturally. So you can eat it. You don't have to go out and buy iodine and drink it because it's been processed by something. You know, try to do some natural. Aside from that, it's going to give you diarrhea. You You don't want to. Don't try to drink eye drops because it's going to give you diarrhea. And what's good about this is that introducing kale in your diet is is, is cheaper than other vegetables that a lot of people like to use for for cooking and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, Somebody was actually telling me they had just switched to using kale for, for whatever reason because they were... Um, they were using it instead of um, they were using it instead of cooking with other stuff. This microphone's not even on. Oh, oh yeah, this. <laughs> I'm all like, what? So, uh, so yeah, I mean, cook with kale, man. Introduce new foods in your diet, and it's gonna be naturally beneficial for you. And I mean, you can do simple things like steam kale. I mean, you can eat it at raw. I've eaten it raw. And it's a little bit greener than lettuce. It's a leaf. You have to really, like, think about the fact that you're eating a leaf. It has a slight bitterness. You can you can counteract that with lemon. Put put lots of tomatoes, lemon, you know, onions. Balance out. Garlic. Balance Just it out. Just know that you're doing something good for yourself and eat it. Mm-hmm. I mix it in with the Don't lettuce. eat Burger King. Eat kale. Don't eat Burger King. Don't eat McDonald's. Like, at this this point, it's even... Don't eat McDonald's. Eat kale. Why should we not eat McDonald's? (laughs) Tell me. Oh, hell. It's empty. (laughs) We should talk. Let's ask Eddie about his painting, because we're in the last three minutes of the show. Okay. And Eddie... I'm going to come up there and talk to him about it. Well, I showed up late. Well, come up here and talk to to me about it. It's three minutes left. Oh. You know, you should, let's tag team. Tag team. How about Ray? But you have to. We're, we're going to bring on Ray. Ray in here. <laughs> Here's uh, my brother, Ray. Thank you. Brother from another mother. Brother from another mother. All right, uh, so we made this bet now. Um, you got pretty far. So I got really far today, even though I got home from work late. It's chatting with some of the viewers, and it kind of looks like an avatar ass and a yeah. smurf ass, which is cool. The Navi are very sexy, but I told Claudia that I'm going to make sure, I'm going to distract you as much as I can so you lose the bet. You try, man. I know you're going to finish it, but I would love to see you do this 15-day, you know, master cleanse, though. So. Well, there's always an, any other reason to do the master cleanse. I don't want to do it. I've done it before. I have detox and ended up, you know. With a, well, I got Ray to do the master cleanse the first time. Mm-hmm. Me and Claudia, we talked him into doing it. 
you know, you detox, you like, you, you, you release yourself from a lot of mental, uh, you know, stress about food by just going, you know what, I'm doing without, I'm only eating what I need, and uh, painting a lot. It was interesting. Uh, the first thing I ate after I was done, soup, basically like soup broth, it tastes so good, it tastes like freaking heaven. Yeah, right, and it's, and it's just soup, you know, like vegetable soup. <sighs> All right, well, you know. But I got to tell you before, uh, I tried this triple stacker from Burger King the other day. It was just one of those things that you're like, man, I hope that just Ray, absorbs. You should I hope not it absorbs be everything fast food. From the night before. You are not going to sell me and, on fast and, food. And, and, I do not hey, care. It's my turn to talk. Hold on, hold on. I was disappointed. I was hoping I'd be a little full, no. feel comfortable, no. you know, make me no. feel crappy. What it's just what fast food should do. I wasn't even full. So then I started YouTubing uh, the Octa Stacker. Octa was Octa. It's got basically like eight meats in it. Is it? Is and that like the like, the, the four good. by four? Is that like the four no, by four? No, it's an eight by eight. And it looked pretty damn good. And I'm gonna go get one this week. That is all. That is all processed meat, dude. Are yeah, you freaking kidding me? But you know what? It looked pretty damn good. I don't eat it all the time. Yeah, exactly. You're eating the hate. Eating the I gotta hate. do it. You are eating the hate. Well, I saw the guy on YouTube. I just YouTubed it, and I saw this guy. He was eating it. He ate it kind of slow. It was pretty disappointing. I was like, this guy, what's he doing? He's not doing crap with it. So I just thought, I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to call my friend. We're going to get two of those, and we're going to eat them in the less amount of time that it took this guy to eat it. Why are you doing this to your body, Ray? Oh, it's just for fun. I don't do it all the time, so it's not like I eat them all the time. You're, you're health conscious. You run. You're yeah. active. You know, why, why do you eat fast food? I eat it like once every several months, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just this taste that I'm addicted to because I've eaten it before. So, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> so it's no, a craving. I, I no, I just want to eat it. It looks good. It. It's, it's, it's a, a craving. Yeah. You're you're nurturing a craving. The way I see. You're it addicted is... to your tea. I'm addicted to it. No, no, no. Tea is fucking good for you. Are you kidding me? Yeah. There is nothing. Ray, I never got sick. The freaking winter passed, and I did not get sick. No. Eddie was sick. My sister was sick. My brother was sick. Everybody around me was sick. I haven't been sick in like a, a year. I quarantined this apartment, okay? You can even ask, like, Eddie in the past, like, what happened last night? You know what happened? I freaking went to town with bleach on the entire apartment while it was raining. You know why? Because that is freaking like acid rain. We are by the ocean. I'm like 2.4 miles, literally. 2.4 miles, literally, from the ocean. Okay? And it starts to rain. And there was just a fucking earthquake and a tsunami in Japan. And there was a, a power plant that went off. Actually, um, my power in my apartment went out I freaking closed yesterday. the doors. I closed all the windows. Uh -huh. Okay, you can call me a ridiculous, exaggerating bitch. I can give a shit. You, you know why? You're a ridiculous, exaggerating bitch. Not because of that, but for everything else in your life. For everything. <laughs> you have your own show. Then fight my words. But Eddie, my power, my you, power. Eddie, you can talk you about it on your show. We're talking on my show. Oh, okay. Sorry. But my power went out last night, and I was pretty, I was like, oh, it'll come back on in an hour. Well, I thought you were And it didn't come on. It didn't come on. My power didn't come on. I'm gonna talk to y'all. My power didn't come yeah. on. So then it made me feel like, man, oh man. <laughs> Hold your hand out. Kick Eddie's ass! And then. But before I was interrupted. I'm quarantining before I was interrupted. the elements. Wait, what's up, Eddie? <laughs> oh my god. Let me, let me finish oh, my story. Yeah. Nah. Shake it, don't break it. Took your mama five minutes just to we make it. We should play some music. So basically, before <laughs> I finish, okay, my power went out, and I was thinking like, damn, you know, imagine this happening like in a natural disaster or something. No power. It's like, I wasn't even prepared. I had no candles. I had no batteries. I had no flashlights or nothing. Mm -hmm. And my phone was not even charged, so I was pretty upset. I was like, you know what? I can't take this. I got to go get a taco. So it was raining. I put on my coat. I'm going to get a taco. This morning, sorry, timer up. This morning, my water was out. Just they were doing some plumbing work, and I was like, "Damn, I don't have any backup water." So Ooh. it just kind of made you realize, you know, definitely back up all your batteries, your flashlights, 
You get some tap water. Get a lot of tap water. No, definitely. Canned foods. They, they sell these the... tablets that you get, and and you can put them in, in like water, like in say like the basin of your toilet or find a water heater, because those are the that's where you're gonna have water still. And you can put that in, it'll purify the water in case it's been old or sitting in the well for a while. I think what we can learn from the whole experience is Be how prepared. to prepare. Be prepared. Be prepared because the worst case scenario might happen. And the worst case scenario, it might be toxicity. Communication breakdown. And I, mean, I saw the lines. There were lines for people to use public telephones in Japan because the lines were down. There was, I mean, it, it looked like Disneyland. It was ridiculous. And that's just even the big, that's, a, that's just the basics. And we're talking about people trying to communicate about their love. We're talking about people trying to say we're okay. We're talking about people trying to send an important message. Mm -hmm. Like that was disrupted. Yeah. So. Be prepared. Just, you know. The best thing that we can do right now is be prepared. Learn from the experience. And if you can afford it. I mean, I, I gave like, you know, $2. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. I, I, I don't have that much money. But I gave something. Because I know that they're going through a traumatic experience. And they are physically ill. It's probably a lot worse than they're saying. But that's the news we get. Well, what we can do is, is um, prepare for worst case scenario. And in the meantime, pray. Pray for them and hope that they are good. You know, there's something that definitely, like, I, I talked to Becky about today. And it was about talking to your angels. And I, I, I'm going to tell my angels. To go over there and help those To help people. the people in Japan. Those poor little kids. In Libya, too. I want, yeah. I want my angels to help the people in Japan. The kids, the plants, the dogs, the cats. Amen, sister. The women. Hallelujah. People that were definitely, you know, the, victims. Yeah. Let's talk about the victims. Beautiful people that could be your brother and sister. So. And also, make sure your phones are charged. I mean, I'm not jumping off topic, but it was pretty much, uh, I was at night without my phone. And, you know, if it's an emergency, just make sure it's charged. Yeah, it, it, with these smartphones, honestly, like from my personal experience, they die. They die a lot. Her phone is always dying. Uh -huh. She has like 10 chargers. My, my phone's not even smart and it dies all the time. Becky, my best friend for my birthday, she bought me another car charger and another wall mount charger. And it was like, it was embarrassing. It was just like, oh shit. <laughs> Is it that hard to get a hold of me? And I don't do it on purpose, you know? It's just kind of one of those things where it's just like. If you can't reach Claudia, it's not because she's super busy. It's because your phone's probably I'm not dead. trying to be. We don't have I'm not, anymore. I'm not trying to be special. Uh, yeah. It's just one of those. It, 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 it's a current event. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at Eddie's painting. Oh. We should close. We should close with beautiful. Eddie's painting. Um, Eddie, tell us about what's going on. Oh. oh that I like the lines. Oh, that is the bomb. <laughs> uh, we were we interrupted him. He's doing the lines right now. It's so amazing. I've learned so much from Eddie. Eddie and I have been best friends for years, literally years. And honestly, like, like literally, like oh my god. He's family. We're family. OMG. <laughs> OMG. ADM. We are family. And and I mean, he was kind enough. To like help me and guide me through some like you know painting techniques you have too mm -hmm. you know and in the past like two years we've actually put together the 2012 art collective and we've done a few art shows and this is kind of 
you know, out of all of that, this, this, I think, is the most, like... Well, all of that led to this. This is the most... What improvement, what improvement I've seen this of Eddie like, that I've noticed that he does, his turnaround time for paintings is pretty quick now. He's knocking out those little ass paintings left and right in less than a day. This is going to be a household name, you guys watch. Every it will. woman is going to want an, a beautiful, yeah. lovely ass yes. picture yes. in her house. And yes. you should. I think Snoop Dogg yes. would. Bud Hart yeah. will be... But hops, but hearts will be forever. It's, it's love, and it's loving women, and it's loving what women have. That's that that that's that's like beautiful, and it's the big butt and the childbearing hips. You're not, <laughs> dude, you're not embracing it's a something. Feminine. You're not embracing something. You're celebrating. I'm yeah. celebrating. I love butt, <laughs> hey, and I love if, women. What if there's a girl watching right now that wants a butt? What if a there's a girl right now that wants a butt? butt she has picture. to email uh, Claudia. Where does she yeah. email you at? Look me up on if you guys are online. interested in um, owning their own, in in having a butt heart of your own, and we've contact us at lifesabish at, at uh, mail dot com or lifesabish at gmail dot com, and it's L I F E S A B E A S H dot. Becky, you should paint TV or dot com. Either one. And you know what? Get a hold of us. No, Becky's already one. Are you kidding me? As a, as a lover's. She's been one of my oh, biggest to each other. That's yeah. Becky right there. It's like full on ticklets. Like awesome shape this year. That's my ass. That is. I, Spank it. Spank it. Ow! Can I spank it? No, 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 don't spank it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I, I want to thank everybody for like being a trooper. I want to thank Becky. I want to thank thank Ray. I want to thank Eddie. And um, I want to thank you guys. Tink, tink everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you. Thank you for like giving. Two and shits. our sponsor, Jameson, for providing everyone for a good time. Yeah. Cheers. James Cheers fun. to whiskey. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. You want to cut the broadcast? Let's go. Peace out, y'all. Y'all. Thank you.